Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to My Free Life. Got to start this one off from the, the restaurant this morning because uh, I meant to get this video out yesterday, so I need to get some of this intro done here at the work spot. And then uh, we'll move on into this. So today, we're going to be talking about them beta men. Where'd all the real men go? I don't know. We're going to have to hit that rabbit hole on this. All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a couple orders I had to do real quick. Customers first. So uh, anyway, yes, topic today, beta men. And uh, we're gonna go down that rabbit hole and find out why so many men are being raised as betas these days. It's intentional, I guarantee it. Back down that rabbit hole. And here we are. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. Betas! I want to be a mom one day. That's going to be a passion for me. I think seeing a trans woman as a mom is going to be very important. That's just absurd. You are a biological male. You can't get pregnant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to be a mom one day. That's going to be a passion for me. I think seeing a trans woman as a mom is going to be very important. That's just absurd. You are a biological male. You can't get pregnant. A bullshit. You can't get pregnant. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> And by the way, if any of my followers are ever in the Austin, Texas area, come on by 8101 Salt Springs Drive. That's 8101 Salt Springs Drive, Austin, Texas, 78747. Come see your boy, that's me, Sax, and I'll hook you up. Just say, I'm a subscriber. All right, let's get into this video. Gotta plug myself. The modern man is being hated. Let me know your thoughts on what Max says in this video. You can see through television and films how they are feminizing men more and more and more. You'll see men dressed up in female clothes, men dressed up in dresses, sitcoms, or in television TV shows. You'll see male more and more emasculated, and the female um, being the dominant, playing the dominant role. This is not to empower the female in any way. This this is this is this is a trick to, to make it look like that it's empowering the female when in fact it is um, taking away taking away the protection from the female feminism movement that happened in the 60s is to um, destroy the family unit from the inside out and this is I'm not saying this in any way that that um, a woman would a woman shouldn't be independent and do whatever I'm saying there is an agenda behind what is going on uh. <laughs> hey, so what y'all think about what he said? You know what I mean? That's 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 real. You know, it's it's it has nothing to do with not wanting women to be independent and do their thing, you know, and, and thrive to the best of their uh, possibilities, the best of their potentials. We want everybody to to thrive out here, but it's intentional. The demasculating of men. You know, when you got no men left, who's going to protect the women? You know what I mean? Think about that, y'all. This is real business. Think about that. And and just to be clear, this video ain't got nothing to do with whether you're gay or straight, whatever. That's the, Your sexual preference is your business. I don't agree with it, but it's your business. I've got a lot of gay friends. I've got transgender friends. Heck, look, you see that? I don't know if you can see that. That tattoo. Yeah, my little bunny with the shears. Yeah, I used to do hair. I was a hairstylist. And I've got, if you know about the hair industry, as far as not barber, but as being a hairstylist, there's a lot of gay people in there, in that industry. A lot of real cool ones. You know what I mean? I don't care about that. So don't think that I'm gay bashing, because that's not what this is about. You know, I, I, I don't care. But what I do care about is... The fact that men are dropping off like leaves in the fall, you know what I'm saying? And that's a problem. That's a real, real problem. Not wrong. Breaking news. Stores are running out of tampons due to the rise of... 
<laughs> Yo, this guy's 100% right. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so Yo. funny. Hey, you. I just saw uh, trap. Use this. Man wearing purses, man putting nail polish in the nails. Mm. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Man wearing dresses. Pay attention to the agenda. They are trying to emasculate the masculine man. Yep. Y'all see it. Is this a new trend? I don't know if their handler told them to have to wear these purses. Who knows, man. Next up, you'll have man wearing makeup. So, I just have a genuine question. Hey, like he said, next up is men wearing makeup. And we're not talking about men that are supposed to be gay. You know what I mean? Men that claim to be gay or, or trans or anything else in the alphabet community. But we're talking about men that are supposed to be men out here are being forced to feminize themselves with this stuff. Carrying these purses and wearing fingernail polish and doing the most masculine stuff out there like our pro athletes and stuff. What in the world is going on? This is not accidental. This is not accidental. Don't be silly. Don't be fooled. For Me black too. people who are conservative in America. Black Americans who are conservative. Um, what are you trying to conserve? <laughs> in a country where this system does not benefit black people, in a country where black people do not have the privilege of having generational wealth, in a country where black people do not still have all their rights. In a country where black people do not have generational wealth, in a, in a country where black people do not have all their rights. What country are you talking about, fool? I'm half black. All right, half white. I was raised with my black family. We got all the rights everybody else got, and the reason we ain't got generational wealth is because we have been beat down to the point of thinking it's socially accepted to be on this welfare system in the welfare state, welfare state of mind. Me, I have never ever been on welfare, and I've been broke my whole life because I refuse to take anything from the government because I am not a damn victim. All right, I'm gonna make some, and I can make some. This country offers all the opportunity that you need to get out there and do something with your life. So quit being a little sissy beta boy and grow a pair of balls that you're supposed to already have and man up, period. There's black, more black. millionaires and billionaires in this country that's black than anywhere else in the world. Guess who sold the Negroes to the white man? Negroes. This Facts. homeboy scares his teacher at school, and he's had to get creative on new techniques to do it. So his principal helped him out, so that way he could hide behind him. And this is his teacher. All right, so this clip right here, I, I just want to be clear why I put it in. So this guy seems like a nice guy, this teacher, this black teacher. I ain't, I ain't dogging him, nothing like that. I'm just pointing out in our educational system how beta the men are that's 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 in our educational system and that also i believe is for a reason you know what i mean i'm not saying not a good dude not saying he not not nice but men don't men don't scream and want just just, just just little girl stuff right here the way that he reacts to getting scared it's just it, and and all the clips i'll show of uh these male teachers in in the system they're all betas they're all betas. If if you're growing up in a in a fatherless home, and then you ain't even the male figures at the school that you go to aren't even men. You know what I'm saying? Don't even rep represent themselves as men. Where are these kids supposed to get the masculinity from? The male kids, the boys. You know what I'm saying? Th that's my point to all this. Because this is some little feminine little reaction here, screaming like a little girl. Now he's probably a nice guy. I'm not saying he's not, but. My point is strictly on the beta side of things here. Sure. Not seeing them and didn't expect it at all. <laughs> no, y'all, can we talk about it? Can we please talk about it? Let's take a moment to discuss. Let's take a moment to debrief. Let's take a moment to unpack. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, but these kids are... I'm gonna just say this. I teach seventh grade, they are still performing on the fourth grade level. Ain't nobody talking about how they just keep moving, passing them on. They just keep passing them on, 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 passing them on. I can put as many zeros in this grade book as I want to. They're going to move that child to eighth grade next year. 
But ain't nobody talking about that. Why they not talking about that? Why they not telling y'all that y'all... But and why don't y'all know that y'all kids not performing on their grade level? Why y'all don't know this? Why y'all don't know? Talk about it. Let's unpack. Because y'all be quick to talk about, oh, the teacher this, the teacher this, the teacher. It's your job, it's your job, baby. I just got here 30 days ago. She was performing on the fourth grade level since fourth grade. Y'all, now, I absolutely love that man's message, all right? He is 100% correct on everything he said. Seems like a great teacher. I'm, I'm with that completely. Again, my point is yet another feminist. Well, I ain't even going to use the word feminist. Another feminine beta type man that your boys, your sons, are being represented by in their schools, teaching them. You know, and a lot of impressionable kids take after their role model teachers. You know, they look up to these people. And as a young boy, if he happens to be the favorite teacher, which he probably very most likely can be, he seems like a great dude, but he's feminine as it gets. And your kids is raised up thinking that that's appropriate. That's not appropriate, y'all. It's not appropriate. As we edge into World War III right now, we need men, 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 and young men being raised as men. You know, right now our kids are being taught that this transgender stuff is cool, while overseas, their kids is running around doing military drills with real guns you ever watched any of this china stuff lately okay it's serious and it needs to be taken serious and stop playing around stop going with all this shenanigans stuff like it's cool and it's trendy because it's not get a grip y'all and obviously not y'all because you watching me you're probably on my same frame of mind and by the way i just want to say my last few videos I've been hemorrhaging subscribers. I've been losing subscribers instead of gaining subscribers. And I ain't gonna lie, it kinda touched me a little bit. I felt some kind of way about that. But then I thought about it like a purge. If I'm losing subscribers off of the things that I say, then obviously we ain't on the same wavelength in the first place. So it's better to go ahead and purge the people that, that, ain't, that ain't with me on, on my thoughts and just keep the real ones. So. Those of you who are still here, I love y'all. Thank y'all. Let's stay real and let's 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 keep our perspective correct with what's really going on in the world. And for those of y'all that are bouncing out, because I'll probably lose several subscribers after this video. Thanks for being here as long as you was. Love you. Good luck. Let's continue. He, so he threatened him. He threatened him. Uh oh, they feel entitled because of their sexuality. He got that if you touch me, I'll sue you, I'll fiddle him. But he can do whatever he wants because his sexuality and his, probably his parents' money. Yeah, exactly what it is. Yeah, I can big and bad. Yep. That's what you get. Call the police. What? Can someone sit there and instigate all that? Trying to be all tough. Oh, this disrespect my husband again and whoop de whoop de whoop whoop. Putting yourself in a man's position and. Let's not get it twisted. You're a man, you're a boy at least, you're a male, and you're messing with some alpha people, all right? So men that still got testosterone and enjoy having balls, all right? You're gonna get hurt. And you put yourself out there and you instigate all this because you think your little sexuality's gained you some, I can get away with this points, and you're gonna come across the wrong one. You're lucky he just pushed you. And he just pushed you because, well, A, Number one, he know he'll beat your ass. B, number two, he knows this demographic we're in right now. He knows what's going on in this world. And if he do punch you, he can go to jail for some gay bashing or anti this, anti that. And 
So he did you a favor and just pushed your little sorry ass, feminine ass, little beta ass out the way. All right? Stop. Stop with all this nonsense. It's comical. Can you please tell me what is going on with the watermelons recently? Check this out. This is what's happening with our men. They're getting Ugh. deflated. That's why I put this in here. I be telling you guys about these seedless fruits. Stop eating it, man. GMO. So I got this watermelon yesterday. I set it on the counter and come down this morning to it exploding. This foam out of it, you can see it's constantly bubbling. Look at it. That's crazy, bro. What the heck? Oh, you can't eel. Look at it. It's all seedless. It's deflating. Another seedless watermelon. Wow. GMO. Only eat fruits that are seedless. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was going to say that too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, And this is why y'all have to come and eat it. Saxis Tacos, my spot, because I grow all my own vegetables, use no chemicals, and I mean zero, zero chemicals. Earth and water, that's it. No milk will grow, no plant food, no nothing, because God already gave us what we need, and I use only that to make sure I give y'all the safest, cleanest, healthiest vegetables you can get at my spot so yeah i'm plugging myself once again but come eat with me including my watermelons all right they all got seeds in them because i raised them right all right come mess with your boy luckily there was a man there that intervened Absolutely disgusting. I feel like. Now, if you didn't catch what was just going on right there, due to my rude interruption, dude was on the train, right, and hitting his little tallywhacker, staring at this this woman in there. Little beta dude beating his beta beef on the train, obviously in his mind doing the thing with the chick that he's looking at right why else would you be looking at something and beating your meat it take an alpha man a real man to get up and set the record straight and kick dude off the train like you gots to go you's a rapist all right you need men real men all right betas are not gonna do it for you it's not gonna work Elliot Page should be able to do whatever Elliot Page wants to do and for me the basic principle of kindness and compassion is going to be my guide when dealing with Elliot Page and when posting something about Elliot Page. I do have recourse to the idea of what do I want Elliot Page to feel? Happy, accepted, that's what I want Elliot Page to feel. You know, and if there are aspects of that I don't understand then I'm willing to take the hit. Well, the first thing I'd like to bring up is the fact that in the UK the Tavistock Clinic was recently closed. And that was the biggest clinic doing gender transformation surgery that operated in the British world. 1,000 of the 19,000 kids have now launched a lawsuit for medical malpractice. And when Elliot Page went online and showed off his or her new chest, she or he got 1.7 million Instagram likes. So then the question is, okay, compassion. Well. You know, I think Elliot Page stepped over the line from victim to perpetrator. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen to what he just said. So, a lot of people, you know, the majority of the population out there, they got they people they look up to in Hollywood, these celebrities, you know, these sex symbols, this whatever, this and that. Jordan Peterson, that's who I look up to, all right? That's the kind of person that you look up to. And for y'all that don't know Jordan Peterson, you need to follow him. He's an extremely intellectual, academic man that came from that side of the world as far as academia goes and his as being a professor, 
which got him 86 from the community because he wasn't going with the program or the BS. All right, this man is amazing. And not only that, he ain't had no easy life. He been, he, he been, his health has been terrible in the mud almost his whole life. His daughter, all of them, you know, they, they come through the trenches and he come out still like this. And of course, once they canceled him, he became bigger and more popular than ever. So those of y'all that don't know who Jordan Peterson is, I highly, highly suggest you go ahead and uh, look him up on YouTube or whatever uh, social media you choose to use, or even just Google him, find a link, follow that man. That man is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Million Instagram likes. So then the question is, okay, compassion. Well, you know, I think Elliot Page stepped over the line from victim to perpetrator. <laughs> Sis delusional. It, it, I'll tell you why. Shh. Shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ten meter telescope designed to survey the sky once every three nights from the southern hemisphere. One of it the is major not going ways. Shh. <laughs> Anthony, I actually like that dude. <laughs> Aging, unemployed, estrogen-filled lunatic Keith Oberon came at Riley Gaines saying that she didn't have any sports accomplishments. Hey, pause that for one second. Riley Gaines, I'm talking to you. Keep up the good work, girl. Keep standing up for your beliefs. Keep doing what you do. Keep knocking out them records. We love you out here. Us real Americans, us patriots, we love you, girl. Keep it going. Yes. Yes. Love this athlete. And the thrice-fired ESPN host, who now does a podcast out of his broom closet in his studio apartment in New York, got destroyed. Watch. So let's go through it. SEC title, uh, second in the country. This is my SEC Community Service Leader of the Year award, which actually got me a lot of money. Oh, another SEC title, uh, an NCAA trophy. Oh, look, SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. Believe it or not, I'm pretty smart. Another SEC title, another NCAA trophy. Oh, that's when we won an SEC championship as a team. Some more SEC honors. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> That's when I broke the 200 butterfly record, uh, the SEC record, which I still hold, making me one of the fastest Americans of all time. And so, Keith, I would be really sad if I broke this trying to prove a point to an old man who can't even seem to keep a job. <laughs> but I've got more of these, so I'm not. Thanks, Keith. Drop the mic, girl. It's enough. This daughter played a prank on her mother by pretending that her kids were in the back of the car with them. As a result, the confused grandma asked this. Who are you talking to? The kids. I picked them up earlier, Mom. That's what took so long. Look at me right now. You look at me. That's right. Zip it. So finally, the grandma exited the car and did this. Mom. I'm telling you right now, I'm not putting up with any fucking shit today. The internet, get out and walk home. All right, y'all. <laughs> so, so this right here, this little clip we just watched, where this this uh, this girl played a prank on her mom, <laughs> acting like she was senile or whatever, like the kids was in the back seat. I know y'all might be thinking, well, what's this got to do with beta men? <clears throat> I put this in here for a reason. So the reason I put this in here is because this is this is out of love. This is great. This is this is amazing cuz her mom probably really thought her daughter's going crazy. So rather than calling her daughter out, she's like, "Uh-uh. That's that's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? We I'm I'm gonna play this side with her. I'm not gonna let her feel like she out here alone." But where this ties in to reality of what's going on right now is the masses are bending to this fake scenario of things going on in the world with this LGBTQ stuff that's going on and this gender transformation and all this stuff going wrong, going along and playing just like the grandma did here, her mom, but the kid's grandma, just like she did here. They're going in there and you know dang well, ain't no kids in the back seat. 
You know dang well cutting a young man's genitals off is not good. You know dang well giving hormones and testosterone and everything else and these removing of breasts with these young children are not good. But you're playing along like it's okay being a big huge part of the plague that's plaguing this world, plaguing America. Stop pretending. Stop playing along. Let's get back to reality here, folks. All right? It's important for the future of our children. All right? It's important. Now, I'm not putting up with any fucking shit today. Is that? Get out and walk home. Under the proposed policy, this would be appropriate in a classroom. Wow. Now, if you ask me, this is inappropriate for a board meeting. If you have a, a dress code policy that allows us in a classroom, it does not promote a, hel a safe uh, classroom environment as well as limiting the amount of distractions in the classroom. Black people trolling gay people on TikTok. Rule number one, when a barber is lining you up, you don't <laughs> stare right in his face when he lining you up. That shit gay. Facts. <laughs> I'll be on TikTok, right? And I'll be noticing some black people be trolling. The men in Macon, Georgia, they look like this. <laughs> the men in Atlanta, they look like this. <laughs> Your whiteness or your religion does not permeate your argumentation. And what? Like the, like the, I mean, I I wanna it, but it permeates I, your argumentation. I don't think my my. Listen, y'all. <sighs> Why does stupidity and feminine feminine men seem to run together? Not all feminine men. Like I said, I got a lot of gay friends. Not a lot, but I got several gay friends. I've even got a few trans friends. All right, good people, but the majority, y'all out here trying to stay the point, but you, eh, you can't even have a you can't even have an intellectual argument about something. You just it's by design. My whiteness permeates my argument. Yes. No, the main person I follow is not white. The person I most mm. follow oh, is mm. not white. Okay. The abolitionist that I'm saying that I'm alike in sort of action and daily involvement are black, white, and everything in between. We'll be back at five. Just like color, like color just, you should be able to assess something without color being, to the best of your ability, don't judge people based on the color of their skin. Alpha males who is socially right. dominant and successful in finding romantic and sexual partners appear to have the most extreme misogynistic views in our samples. Chad's numerous sexual conquests are linked to an objectified view of women that degrades women to game them for which males compete. So it's interesting because this is also something I witnessed in the shows. The guys that actually pissed the women off the most would have the women hitting on them after. You know, and you just kind of see more behind the scenes. And I bet you Fresh and Fit, whatever podcast, they could all attest to this. It's like, it's weird. The, the men that the women like hate the most are the ones they show the most attention to. I, I think indifference. Hope y'all paying attention. It's a real message. Real message right here. Facts. I think hatred for a guy is much better than indifference. If a girl's indifferent, then she doesn't care. You recently talked about how Andrew Tate is uh, it was a setup. Yo, you think? <laughs> no, I just want to hear what you're... What? I think so, too, but I want to hear your whole synopsis on it. Me. Andrew Tate's core message is respect yourself. Act like you're worth something. Achieve something. Do something. Get the fuck off the couch. Get down the floor. Mm -hmm. Like, go do something with your life. You're given this amazing thing. Your life. And what are you going to do with it? And I feel like that's the greatest message that anyone could give. I mean, that's Amen. how I read Andrew Tate's message. So, of course, it just tells you everything about the people in charge that that's threatening. Why would that be threatening? Right. Because you don't want an independent, self-respecting population in your country. That's why. And so they've like, oh, Andrew Tate's a sexual harasser. The same people who, you know, were on Pedo Island with Epstein. The same people who are friends with Harvey Weinstein. are like, oh, we're protecting women. Really? <laughs> My sis girlfriend. And see, and it's, it's exactly people like Andrew Tate, masculine men, all right, that the system goes after. The machine gets to work really quick on masculinity. You think maybe it's intentional? Maybe? Huh? Oh, no. 
Oh no, maybe it's all coincidence. Of course not, y'all. They're trying to completely get rid of masculinity in our country. Just like they're trying to get rid of firearms. Alright? Open up your minds. Use your brains. Really? <laughs> my sis girlfriend is taller than me. Yeah. So, like, my. I, mean, so I think even the fact that you're with a girl is kind of huh? male. So. What? <laughs> that you're with a girl. No. I mean, she's lesbian. I mean, you can think of it however you want. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm saying like, like, but, but for someone, I mean, like a lot of people would not be honest with you because they're like worried about being canceled and all this kind of stuff. I'm just saying, like, my appearance, I think, feminine enough that she doesn't care. Like, she thinks I'm female enough, basically. So why are you getting a uh, uh, surgery done to add breasts? All right. So, <laughs> in case y'all didn't follow along, he says I'm with a cis girl. That thinks I'm feminine enough. She's lesbian. So I'm going to get breast implants. Uh. <laughs> she ain't lesbian. Is she with a boy? Yeah, I'm not going to call you a man whatsoever. But you're a male. Alright, so she wants the ding a ling a ling. <laughs> but, but she a lesbian. I mean... What do we have to go through to try to follow along with all this madness? It's exhausting. It's exhausting to try to keep up with all of the silliness in this world right now. Come on, y'all. Get it together. Paid to leave. They are incentivized to leave their husbands. Cash prizes. By the way, we were in Texas for an interview with Carter, right? Great interview. Amazing time. But it was apparent because they were talking about old strategies to get women. Because obviously go. they're more mature, they're married, whatever. But in the real world, like, guys, you can marry a girl that's in church, a good girl, so to speak, right? And she's good in that moment. The moment she gets on TikTok, Instagram, sees girls flying out to Dubai, mm -hmm. sees certain things that you can't afford, saying, oh, my man does this for me, you don't do that. She can switch in an instant. And that one interaction with social media changed her whole perspective. It's like that level of like opportunity that's there for mm -hmm. to capture. That's, oh, that's crazy. So she should be good at one moment. You do something that she don't like or is out that she sees that says, yeah. oh, women do this. It's like, you're fucked. Have you? That dude was, uh, he, he's real about that. You know, a woman can switch up in an instant due to social media. <clears throat> so we got to be careful out there. Us men got to walk a fine line. We've always had to walk a fine line when it comes to women. But now we got to walk a fine line in a whole nother dimension. Oh, yeah, by the way. Captain Tom from Guam who sent me the shirt it has it has not arrived yet that's why I haven't presented it on my channel yet but just so you know and I'm sure you're probably watching this it hasn't arrived yet but when it arrives as long as the message on the shirt correlates with my morals um, like I told you I will be very happy to present that for you here on my channel and uh, so other folks you out there trying to start you a little like a uh, business teacher or business some what whatever it might be if you want me to promote it for you I ain't it, it send me the product if it aligns with 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 my vision and, and my morals um, then I'll be happy to uh, promote that on my channel for you so Captain Tom I haven't forgot about you it just hasn't arrived yet and yes this is a real captain ship captain I'm talking about it ain't just somebody with a cape running around calling themselves Captain Tom. All right, let's get back to the video. Um, I was talking to her last night, and I was telling her, like, I, I, you know, I know something's going on. You share your problem with your wife? Yeah. Why, why'd you do Beta! Why'd you do that? <laughs> beta! <laughs> well, I didn't, know, I, I didn't know it wasn't a good idea until uh, a couple days ago. Just started listening to your show. A man should never, ever, ever, but never, 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 ever, 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 never tell any woman his weakness. She will use it against you. Yes. A $10 date in Thailand, here's what it looks like. I'm meeting up with a girl for a date. I'm going to Thailand. I'm going to try to only spend 400 baht or about 10 bucks. This should be luck, guys. First order of business, find her and get two beers. These were about $1.80 each, but they were massive. I've never had mango sticky rice. The mango sticky rice came out to about $2.33. It was delicious. Have some budget left, so we're looking for what's next, and we find some alligator. 
bitter meat, they cut it up real thin and sauce it up so nice. It was both our first time trying this. On our way out of the market, I saw you could play with these pythons for like a dollar twenty-five cents. She was nervous, but got used to it, kinda. <laughs> we finished up our beers and I took her for an authentic American delicacy. At the end of the day, she actually bought me some authentic food and wanted me to try some durian fruit. It smelled nasty and texture was like it was already chewed by your grandma. At the end of it, I spent about $13, but it was totally worth it. Follow me, I got good shit. Was Will Smith trying to tell us something in this video he put on his Instagram? Let me know your thoughts on this. Oh, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas. Another beautiful day. Check it out. Check it out. Boom. I'm going to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. I'm a hater. This clip was important to me because it just goes to show the facade of life these days. Most things are not what they seem, which is why you have to question everything. Everything. All right. And, and I'm not trying to knock you ladies. I like a I like a good looking woman too. But with all that makeup and all them fake nails and all that fake hair and all that everything else is fake that's that's just like his blue screen or a green screen or computer generated who really are you underneath all that you know what i mean like everything is a lie it's all a lie it, you gotta dig for the truth which is what i'm suggesting y'all do out there is dig for the truth Dig for the truth. That's all I can say. I'm digging myself every day. I have no idea what the truth is. I got to dig. Don't and, and do not take my channel as the truth. All right? You don't know me. I could be full of S H I T and intentionally feeding y'all lies all day every day. The fact is, you don't know. So don't take me for my word neither. Always dig for the truth. You feel me? Because I can't relate to gay pride. Call me homophobic because I don't want to date guys. K tight. I, for one, I'm not surprised the world declined along the way. Give trophies to children for losing just because they decide to play. We exercise our right to vote and hate the politicians. Hey, this is a democracy. It's partly your decision. Hey, this is weird. Feels like this a different year. If I identify as a female, then when my balls and penis disappear, children want a gender switch. And Was the video of you getting jumped real? That was no. hard. Have you ever watched gay porn? Yes. <laughs> Do you think that blacks are the inferior race? Yes. What the f***? He's looking at you crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever jerked off to Sky Bree? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever jerked off to Brecky Hill? Yes. Oh my god. Stop for love. Have you said the N-word of the past two days? Yes. <laughs> what are they fighting? Look at the security, man. Look at the security. He's quitting. <laughs> Have you ever jerked off to Ch***y porn? No. Don't do it. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god! He was an actor! Jada Pinkett Smith. Still making videos about Tupac. My relationship with Pac, I really did believe that he was gonna be here for the long run. She was with Tupac and Tupac's died, and now she's with Will, but she keeps going on about how much she misses Tupac and bruv. It's just so haram. My girlfriend. Hi, girlfriend. Hi, Andrew. I made a video about my ex and I put it on Instagram. What? What would I thought it'd be a cool video? Take a cool video, take your phone, move out my house. Goodbye. You're insecure. I respect you. I take care of you. I pay for your life. And I will not be disrespected on Instagram. Am I a misogynist? I don't know. Am I crazy? I don't think so. You're with me now and we're in love. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Would you that. consider yourself? And that's why I like Andrew Tate. No nonsense, no bullshit. Straight cut. Right to the slice you're looking for. You know what I mean? No sense in playing around. And that Jada Will stuff, Will is a beta. Bro, you still got that chick? Why, what are you doing? 
she has been demasculating you left and right publicly for a minute now. It, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, man. These men need to grow their balls back. For real. Oh, progressive. I, I want to see progress. So in that sense, by, by the dictionary definition, I guess so. Yeah. The problem is that there might be, you might have some ideas about what is implied by the political term progressive that maybe I agree with, maybe I don't, but right. I definitely want to see you know, humanity progress. And one of the reasons I'm concerned about you being a progressive is that... <laughs> Me specifically or all progressives? All men. Men, only yeah. men. Only men. Progressive women don't concern you. It's, it's normal, normal, abnormal for women to be progressive. Interesting. Or a liberal, but wow. it's abnormal for a man to be a liberal or progressive. It's a sign of being a beta male. I didn't know because that. Because real men are conservative, hmm. Republican, you know, and strong in wow. nature. Uh, so I'm concerned if you're a liberal or a progressive. If I became conservative, would I no longer be beta? You'd become alpha. Well, wow. like that. Are you conservative or liberal? Probably beta! Probably. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you for being here again. I'm sure I lost a few more subscribers on this video, but it ain't that I don't care, but I don't care. Because the only people I want in my community, this Free Life Squad, are people that really care about life, about our country, and about the world abroad, you know, that see life through a lens of reality and, and not all of this facade and fakeness that's going on. Because it's not that hard to do. I, I, f I feel like you have to really try. You have to put in some effort to blind yourself to the facts and the realities that's going on around us because they're obvious, they're apparent, they're clear, they're, they're right there in front of your face. Like you have to, you have to intentionally be stupid. And I know that my, my little community here is not stupid. So if you leave my community, I'm not saying you're stupid because you leave it. I'm saying maybe you still got some awakening to do. But anyway, y'all, love y'all. I'm Sax. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, and help push this video. Push all my videos. You know what I'm saying? And help, help it out this little bitty channel grow a little bit you know send it to some some like-minded people or some people you're gonna offend it don't matter send it to some people so that they can see this so i can try to build this channel up a little bit because it won't be long my little six thousand subscribers it won't be long before i get to a point where you know the ut the ut what we're promoting on right now is probably going to start coming and gunning from my channel too because my message is not going to be politically aligned with the machine so let's try to get this stuff out there while we can. I love y'all. See y'all in the next one. Peace.